Funko Collages, is me, the Funko Monster. Today is Funko Friday. It's 11.30, so sorry if this is posted uh, on Saturday. But I am bringing Funko Friday very late. Uh, I could have done it sooner, but I, I had to eat dinner and stuff. So it was, the, yeah, pretty good week this week. Uh, I was hoping I could get more pops today, but I overspent. I, um, I reserved a couple statues at uh, GameStop. So, there's that. It was like 75 bucks for two statues, which is not bad. Uh, the quality statues are from DC and uh, Diamond Select. So, anyways, uh, last Friday I went to go see a great movie that's out right now in theaters, and it is called uh, One Other Woman. Yeah, so I picked up uh, Steve Trevor and Hippolyta. Hippolyta? I don't know. But yeah, I think these pops look very cool. Now, okay, the movie takes place in World War One. Now, World War One was a pretty much just basically trench warfare where soldiers would sit in trenches and just shoot at each other. I learned about this in history, so it's not really a spoiler. But this guy's using a shotgun in the movie. No, you don't use a shotgun when there's distance away. Anyways, yeah, I, I do like the look of these two pops. All I need now is the Entertainment Earth exclusive, which I'm looking for. I gotta go to the FYE soon. So I like these two. I like the design and everything. So, uh, then, uh, wow, well, okay, yeah, this week's so gonna be very short, but there's a lot of Funko news, so stay tuned. I went to a Target to look for some Marvel Legends, and, uh, and I saw this, and I just... I was looking for it, but not really looking for it. I got the uh, Target exclusive uh, Lightning McQueen Metallic. I really like this. I'm actually going to take them out just because I never held a Cars Pop before. Uh, you know, just the Pop rides and everything, but not him. Oh. You can see all the fingerprints on him, which is a little unfortunate, but eh. That's cute. I don't like how pudgy it is, though. Yeah, that's just a cool pop. Uh, here's the thing, like, Funko made way too many. And it's like, I'm finding it, I'm seeing it at uh, Targets that don't, there's like, they never get exclusives. And it's there, so. And that's a little unfortunate, but. That's like. Uh, but yeah, cool pot. Otherwise, um, and while I was looking around for more pops and stuff, and I looked at the Blu-rays and got this paper cut by doing that. And I was like, basically, I was like this. I was like, I want this one. And I slid across. It was cardboard. And I slid across. I cut my finger open. It was bad. Now it's healed to find, but. I saw this pop there and I had to get it. Now I only need uh, two more. It is Vito Corilone. 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 It's got the pop cat in his arms. I think that's super cute. Yeah, <laughs> I love this movie. Um. But yeah, I love the pop. I love how he's just got an extra pop with him. So yeah, that's that's if that came out this year, that's probably gonna make it out more of my top than my top ten favorite pops of this year, maybe. There's some more to be released anyways, but uh so I have the camera a little weird. Uh and also I went to oh I went to uh, toy hunting. I did record it. So go subscribe to my personal channel and I'll explain why I haven't been posting too much on this channel I, and I can explain it in tomorrow's video which I made yesterday but I did pick up uh this Funko Specialty exclusive I believe this came out on free comic book day so I, I'm not sure it might be Cosmo and then the pop of him white and the white outfit but yeah I really like this um I'm only collecting uh Chases, exclusives, and that's about it. And if I see a retail one that I like that's on sale, then I'll get that too, but most likely not um, anymore. Like commons that just don't look that good. Uh, but I went across the from Newberry Comics to uh, get back to GameStop and I picked up 
This pop, now this pop's actually cheaper than the, uh, the dorms. But I waited so long and I let the guy in front of, behind me cut me. And we were there for 10 minutes and like he, we kept looking at each other like, Oh, wish I went somewhere else. And so like, he, he gave me extra money for cash back or something. So uh, if you're watching this, which most likely not, you were buying like a video game and you look like you could have gotten the video game anywhere else, but, uh, he's a nice guy. I, 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 we didn't talk at all. I mean, it was just like, could have gotten this somewhere else, but it was on sale at this GameStop and nowhere else. Not Thinky, not, uh, I went to a GameStop today and there wasn't on sale there, so that's a little unfortunate, but I did pick up the Hunter from... Resident Evil. Now, please leave a comment down below what game is, which Resident Evil this is from, because uh, I know, uh, well, I know Nemesis, I have the game, but I never played it, uh, and Tyrant, I, I, I don't know what, I know Leon's from 4, and this, I don't know the girl, but yeah, I don't know. I love the look of this pop, I think it looks super cool, it's like Killer Croc, kind of, actually, so... Although he's a little more green in the picture than the pop itself. Anyways, I did unbox the Disney Treasures. I was going to post it yesterday or today, but I didn't get around to it. Uh, so, And also, the reason why I've been uh, I haven't been uploading on this channel is because I've been focusing on my personal channel. I've been posting every single day of June, and I plan to continue posting every single day of June. And it's very hard. It's so hard. To keep a to keep a schedule. I'm trying to keep ahead, but it's like it's so difficult. I'm not gonna make a video after this because like I, I can't I can't do it. And so I'm tired as hell. It's it's already eleven it's eleven forty. So anyways, I'm gonna show you Funko news. All right. Uh, most of these photos are from uh <coughs> um Funko finders. Go follow them on Instagram. Great page, post every single hour, at least two to five times an hour. And not at night time, but obviously it's like because they're sleeping, you know. So, and plus Funko is in Washington, it's like three hours time difference. And I feel like they do live in that area, so I don't know. They announced the first SDCC wave, if you don't know what that means, the San Diego Comic Con exclusives. And I, I'm not sure, I heard this somewhere, I think I heard it from Funko Finders. All, I'm not sure if it's all or most of the uh, SDCC exclusives are going to be shared. And that I think that's awesome. There's some things I don't want. And just like some things I'm like, eh, I don't know how I feel about it. But that's great. Although I did see one thing that was like 500 pieces. So I'm not sure. Anyways, here's the first set. Uh, you can you um uh I know I got a better one. Yeah, here it is. Okay, this is actually Funko Finders. Uh, oh my god! No, what the frick? Okay, so the first wave was pretty much a Star Wars. Uh, hi Norman. Um, you get Princess Leia in the uh holographic form. And then you get a new R two D two. Ah, this is the guy I don't want. I he's too simple to be a con exclusive. If I if I see him, maybe. But uh, there's the tank driver. I think that looks awesome. That design is amazing. I have the s black series of him. And then uh, Snoke. That's sick. And I I like how they're making it the holographic form. So. When they do the normal uh, form, it it'll probably look a lot cooler. But anyways, uh, now let's just jump right into non San Diego Comic Con. They announced two Funko Specialty Series exclusives. One of them's from uh, Masters of the Universe Man at Arms, and then they announced the Mark One Iron Man, which I think looks awesome. I love I love the way he looks, but I I, I never watched uh, He Man, so I can't. I'm not gonna be picking him up, but I'm definitely gonna be picking up that because that looks sick as shit. All right, uh, that's just awesome. 
So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to pick that one up. Uh, and then, this is wave three, so, uh, this is a, uh, a Hot Topic exclusive. Now, this is coming out in, uh, the placeholder. So, the placeholder has been announced. Now, if this is from what I, if this is from the comics, I know I read this issue. But if it's from the TV show, I don't know this then. Uh, but I love the way these two look there on the beach and everything. So, uh, yeah, I like that. I like, they, they, Funko needs to do more two-packs. Uh, then you get a clone, Commander Cody. I, I don't know. I think his design looks amazing, though. Uh, if you know what this is from, let, let me know. I'll, I'll read it, watch it. I don't know. So, yeah, please let me know. I don't feel like doing research. Because it is 1130 at night. And, uh, then it's... The series two wave of SCCC. Now I've never seen this movie. And this its wave is uh, specifically for this movie, and it is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I've never seen this movie. I need to see it. I need to see it. And honestly, even when I do see it, I'm not gonna collect the pops because I'm not the biggest. I'm, I'm sure I'm not gonna be the biggest fan when I see it. Maybe I'll get like the cop ones, but that's about it. And um. I think I'll just let the real fans get what get these pops. Like if I okay, for example, if any of you guys are big Scott Pilgrim fans, you give me your PayPal, you give me the money, I'll go get you. You know, I'll get you what I can get, and if not, I just send you back the money. But so I would do that for any one of you guys watching. I would do that. So, um. You know, just actually, you know, go through with it. Like, give me the money I send to you, you know. So, I don't know. But you get this, uh, you get a three-pack that's actually limited. Uh, it says 500 pieces. Yeah. That's a little, uh, like, they said it was all going to be shared. Maybe it's, like, shared on the Funko website, because that's where they usually sell the three-packs. Uh, but, uh, and then this Roxy thing, and then, I love this rock candy. I love this rock candy. Um, I know I just said if I don't, if, if I see this, I'm probably gonna get it because I love rock candies. Uh, now wave three. I loved wave three. Wave three was amazing. I wish they added a little bit more. They could have added more, but they didn't. Uh, so let's just go through. Uh, I saw the video of this before. I saw the video on the Funko channel before, before I saw the post. Like. Because I their post, I turned on the notifications so I get any time they post anything. It was, a, it was a great. I got my Mace Windu because of them. I got my Stitch because of... Uh, okay, I just spoiled something for next week. Uh, mm, uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely getting this. I'm definitely getting this. This is awesome. Uh, I can picture this going to either Hot Topic or Toys R Us. But I feel like... Uh, this is going to Toys R Us. I'm not getting that. That's stupid. Like, too many Gwenpools, and she's... She seems like a knockoff of Spider-Gwen, even though I know she's not. She's a pretty interesting character, from what I've heard. She's just like, Oh, I'm in the superhero world now. I woke up in the superhero world. I'm gonna, as I'm falling down this building, I'm just gonna pretend I can fly. She flies. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, this She-Hulk... At first, I was like, no, I'm not gonna get her. She's too... She's just a repaint. I, the more I'm looking at her, the more I like her. So, uh, I'm going to try to pick that up. Um, then the Bucky Cap. The Bucky Cap pop of uh, Captain America is coming out. Love that. Even though it's just a paint repaint and everyone's going to get it, it is just a repaint. So don't go nuts on it unless you're a fan. I, I don't even know Bucky Cat that much. I would love to read the comics. I just, I just wish I knew. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Wave. Him holding the helmet. Tony Stark holding the helmet. I think that's cool. It's a little too simple. Uh, maybe if he had like an Iron Man leg piece still on him. Or maybe the back of the pop is still showing the machine coming off. You know, the Iron Man suit coming off of him. That'd be cool, or like his arm is still, in the, you know, so, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I think that's all. That's all the fucking news.
I'm sure I missed a couple things, but it's okay. I covered a lot of things. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to see so much more com content. Uh, again, I'm not posting as much this month. Only because of the book is on my personal channel, and I said that I would. I said it at the last minute, too. I didn't plan on doing it. And, you know, and it's kind of a bad idea because after school, school's going to end next Monday. Not the, this Monday, the next Monday. And I might be getting a job. So maybe tomorrow and next weekend, I just make videos, make videos, and just, you know, put them in a private playlist. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, subscribe to see tomorrow's video on the uh, Disney Treasures unboxing. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.